deeply, profoundly stupid. Deeply, profoundly stupid. That is the only way that I know how to describe one of the worst decisions by an administration that has become famous for bad decisions. I am talking about President Biden's assault on sustainable, affordable energy. The people of Louisiana know, Mr. President, and the people of America know that they're now paying $90 to fill up their cars and tanks with gas because the Biden administration killed the Keystone Pipeline, canceled our offshore oil leases, and forfeited America's energy independence. We were energy independent. The Biden administration forfeited it. What seems to be underappreciated, Mr. President, however, is how President Biden's agenda is driving up the price, not just of oil, but of all kind of necessities that American and Louisiana families need every day. It's not just about oil and gas, it's about everything. Not only do most goods get to our homes after riding in trucks and planes and cars and ships powered by gas or diesel, but a lot of our plastics and other products, if you think about it, they're also made from petroleum. Actually, only 60% of oil in the world gets used as a fuel. 40% of the global oil supply ends up in other things, things other than cars and trucks, in products. That means that it doesn't just cost people more to get to and from the store. It uh, means almost everything in the store costs more because of its connection to oil. Some medicines come from oil. Microfiber comes from oil. Mascara comes from oil. Synthetic leather comes from oil. Do you, do you have a phone case or a handbag or a chair or a car made with plastic? That's oil. That's oil. Um, now, not everything's made from oil. Um, some goods that you buy are not made from that natural resource. But I bet they're packaged in plastic. And all of these items, all of these household necessities um, are, are uh, casualties of President Biden's assault on sustainable energy. Here is a fat fact. Our economy can't run without fossil fuels. Now, I'm not suggesting that fossil fuels should be our only source of energy, certainly we should take advantage of the efficiencies we can find in wind. I believe in wind and solar. I believe in solar and nuclear and hydrogen and hydroelectric. But part of a sensible, sustainable, affordable energy plan has to include fossil fuels. Ours is the greatest economy in all of human history. It can't run without energy. And 80% of our energy today comes from fossil fuels. That is just a fat fact. The truth is that American ingenuity, and I'm referring to fossil fuels, has made the most out of the, one of the most versatile resources that the world's ever known. But the Biden White House is determined to punish us for that innovation. It's just determined to punish us by making every single part of the American dream more expensive. Um, even necessities that aren't directly made from, from petroleum, 
depend on affordable fuel to reach American families. Uh, record high inflation and gas prices have sent Americans to food pantries. Why? Because even fruits and eggs and milk are becoming un unaffordable. The latest reports show that many Americans are paying 8.6% higher prices today than they were last year. But we know it's more than that. I know those are the official government numbers, but we know it's more than that. Eggs are up 32%, milk's up 16%, flour's up 14%, baby food, when you can find it, is up 13%. These aren't luxury items. These are staples that Americans depend on every single day. Well, I mean, why is a Louisiana man telling us, I'm going to quote, my food budget is insane. My food budget is insane. It's gone up 100 to $150 a week. So it's becoming more and more difficult to buy the same thing I bought a year or two years ago. That's not, not just a Louisianian talking. That's that's all across America. Why did a woman in Baton Rouge realize that fruits and vegetables, not sirloin steak, fruits and vegetables are breaking her bank? She's cooking more with rice and bread instead of fruits and vegetables. The, the high grocery prices for this lady are gutting her and her family like a fish. And that's just a fact, a very unhappy one, but it's a fact. Now, high oil prices are also waterboarding our farmers, which contributes to these high food prices. Did you know that we, we make in, industrial fertilizer from fossil fuels? And when natural gas costs more, so does fertilizing a field of wheat or corn or soybeans. Some of our herbicides right now are twice as expensive as they were, if farmers can find them. Tractors drink diesel. Duh. So do irrigation systems. A gallon of diesel, one gallon, a year ago. You know what it was? $3.23. You know what it is today? $5.20. Now, what does this mean for, for Louisiana rice farmers and, and other growers? For every extra dime farmers spend on a gallon of diesel, every extra dime, a grower will spend about $4.50 more for an acre of rice, $2.30 more for an acre of cotton, and an extra $1.74 for an acre of corn. Corn growers, I mentioned corn growers, they also depend on nitrogen fertilizer, which we make with methane. And then corn, I mentioned corn. Corn goes into cereal, it goes into sweetened drinks, peanut butter, baby food, ketchup, salad dressing. You know, I, I don't mean to be ugly, but this administration's energy policy is deeply profoundly stupid, and it's dangerous. Um, so, so my people, Mr. President, are feeling President Biden's gas hike from the gas pump to the grocery store, to the doctor's office. Um, a lot of the raw materials that make our medicines and health care products are made from, guess what, petroleum. Oil goes into our burn creams. You ever burn yourself? Have to go to the local grocery store or the local pharmacy, buy something to put on your burn? That cream comes from oil. You have allergies? Those allergy pills are made in part with oil. You ever get a cold? Take a little NyQuil? Take some cold tablets? Need oil to make them. Uh, our kids' gummy vitamins 
are made with oil. The Band-Aids in your medicine cabinet, they're made from oil. The President's assault on fossil fuels is hitting my people in Louisiana, Mr. President, and they're hitting the American people so hard they're coughing up bones. My people and the people of America are increasingly having to dip into their savings accounts just to afford everyday items. Not to take a cruise, not to buy a new car, not to, to buy some new clothes to look good at church on Sunday, for household necessities. And, and on top of that, in, in addition to going into their savings account, my people and the people all across America are having to charge more and more and more to their credit cards. Not for luxuries, but for staples, for necessities. The, all of this inflation caused in part by the president's bone-deep, down-to-the-marrow, stupid energy policy is costing the average American and Louisiana family $635 a month. Now think about that. $635 a month. Let's call it seven dollars to $8,000 a year. If you're a mom making $40,000 a year, and you're a dad making $40,000 a year, and you've got two children, and you have a home, nothing special, you know, uh, $200,000 home, it's got a mortgage. Mom and dad have to go to work, so they have to, to have uh, automobiles, they have car payments. They're using every penny of that $80,000 a year. And now all of a sudden, here comes inflation. And they've got to come out of pocket with an, an, an extra seven to $8,000 a year? Where's the money going to come from? And just about every middle class American is experiencing that right now. Now recently, the president sent a letter. He sent a letter to the top oil companies. And in the letter, it was kind of a snipping letter, frankly. He, uh, he demanded that the oil companies wrap, uh, ramp up their refining operations to try to slow the rising energy prices and to shore up supply. Isn't that special? The same president, he ran on it. He did it. He ran on it, said he'd do it, and he's done it. The same president who promised to end fossil fuels is now blaming the energy industry for historic oil and gas prices. The truth is, this administration refuses to accept responsibility for bad policies. And I don't know why they pursued this policy, other than just to try to check off a, a promise made to satisfy their woke agenda. For the sake of Americans' economic futures and for the sake of our national security, Mr. President, we cannot to continue to rely on foreign oil imports. We can't. While pretending to run this country using wind, solar, and wishful thinking, because that's what the president's new policy is on energy. It's wind, it's solar, it's wishful thinking. Wishful thinking doesn't fill gas tanks or grocery car, cars. And the president, this week, will be in Saudi Arabia. He's not there as a tourist. He's in Saudi Arabia to beg the, the Saudis to produce more oil after he has already forfeited America's energy independence and he refuses to take his boot off the throat of the oil and gas industry to allow our uh, oil and gas producers to produce our own oil. So think about it. That's, this is the president's new energy policy. Let's don't produce our own oil and gas. Let's give up our energy independence. But we have to have oil and gas, so what do we do? President's news policy is let's give up our own oil and gas and let's buy oil 
from foreign countries that hate us. So those foreign countries will have more money to buy weapons to try to kill us. It just makes no sense. And the people of Louisiana deserve better, Mr. President. And the people of America deserve better. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I yield the floor.